Hey there! Welcome to the channel where you will find love, laughs, and DIYs. If this is the first time you've ever been here, let me introduce myself. My name is Crafty Kathy, and I am tickled pink that you're here with me today. I am a small business owner in Chattanooga, Tennessee of a little antique booth, and I love any kind of antique booths and flea markets and little oddity stores and junk stores and thrift stores, and I definitely love to make DIY decor on a budget. Now, if you share my passion, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I don't want you to miss any of my episodes, and we would love to have you in our family. So let's get started on today's video. This week, I'm participating in Makeover May, and it is hosted by my friend Brandy at the DIY Struggle. Each week in May, she's gonna be hosting a different style of decor, and this week, I'm the co-host, and our style for this week is going to be Distressed. We are also adding a little fun to this because we are going to be giving away a $30 Amazon gift card giveaway, but you have to stick around and listen to the video for the details on how to enter. I decided to do my video on birds because I've changed so much of my home decor to go along with this theme. I hope that you guys can kick back and relax and have a few laughs and enjoy the DIYs and let's just spend some time together. Now let's jump into this video. For my first DIY, I'm going to make a tabletop bird feeder or it can be a bird bath. I have this clear plate from the Dollar Tree and I also have a white candlestick from a thrift store and then I have this little bird that came from the Dollar General. I took everything outside and gave it a coat of a black spray paint. And then when that was dry, I gave it two coats of the Rust-Oleum Two Times Matte White. And then I'm gonna take everything inside and distress it. The reason why I do the black underneath is because when I distress, it just comes right through and it's really pretty that way. So I will use something to scrape it or I will use a sanding block and if that doesn't work and give me the result I want, I will take the Waverly ink as I did here with my distressing brush and very lightly go around everything. I got a little heavy handed with the black distressing, but that's no problem because I just put a little bit of my white chalk paint on a distressing brush and I just very, very lightly go right back over it and it looks very natural and pretty. I grabbed one of my IOD transfer books. It's the latest one, and it's the one that has the little seed packets. It's so cute. And do you know that I did not have the camera recording when I put it on the candlestick? I was so mad because I was so sure I did. But it's so easy. All you do is lay the transfer down, and there's a little tool that they send, and you just scratch it with the tool, and it comes right off on whatever you're wanting to put it on. Now, when I get my transfer, transfers on, I like to use about a 400 grit piece of sandpaper to very, very lightly and carefully go over the top of it because it just kind of makes it look older and more antique. And I kind of think that that looks vintage and I like that. I do another transfer in just a moment and it is recorded so you can see how to do it in case you have questions. But here is what my little bird looks like when I'm finished. He's got the black spray underneath him and then the white Rust-Oleum two times. Now, he didn't distress very good with when I just scratch, scratched over him. And so what I did was just put a little bit of the Waverly black ink on a distressing brush and I very, very lightly dry brushed over him with the black. And I felt like he needed some color, and I wanted a very light yellow color on him, so I used this color called Daydream, and it's just a folk art acrylic paint. And I did it the exact same way. I just kind of dry brushed it, and it's a very, very tiny bit on my brush, and it's super dry. <laughs> so I just very lightly went over him just to give him a little color, and I added a little bit more towards the top of his head because that's kind of where birds have the brightest color on their little bodies. 
And since I painted him yellow, his eyes looked really strange because they were still white. So I took some truffle Waverly chalk paint on a very, very pointy <laughs> paintbrush. And I just put a very light bit in his eyes. And then I went over him with my Debbie's DIY white wax just to kind of knock down that color a little bit and make it look more natural and vintagey. Is vintage a word? Well, it is today. I'm sorry. I don't know any other way I can kind of describe him. hes I just want him to look kind of old and distressed. You know what I'm saying? That's vintage -y. So the next thing I'm going to do is glue him on my plate. And I take some of my Star Bond glue and it's kind of like a quick set glue if you use it with the accelerator now it is a super glue and it's amazing and i use the thick kind i just put a little bit on his little feet and then i take the accelerator and you spray it on the surface that you're sticking him to and it, in two or three seconds he is stuck like chuck he is on there and he's not going anywhere. So now we're going to put the plate on the candlestick and I use the exact same thing, the thick Star Bond Super Glue, and then I spray the accelerator on the bottom of my plate. And I'm sorry it's out of frame, but I couldn't flip the plate over because of the bird being on it. Usually I would lay the plate down and place the candlestick on there, but I couldn't do it because of the bird. So I had to do it this special way. <laughs> and then I used my favorite method of distressing, my good old finger. Guys, I'm not kidding y'all. It is my favorite method of distressing anything. You can get right in there where you need to get. And so I used my Waverly Black Ink Chalk Paint and my finger and i went all the way around this plate to kind of finish it off and make it look like it was enameled and by the way to protect the little birds i did not put any spray paint on the top of my plate i flipped my plate over and sprayed the bottom part of my plate with spray paint that way the little birds are not getting any particles of spray paint in their mouths if i make it into a bird bath or even the bird feeder. I also went around the bottom part of the candlestick and kind of in the middle part with a little black line so it could have an enamel look. And like I said, you can use this as a bird bath or a bird feeder. And I just styled it outside so you guys could see it on the tabletop, or actually it's on a bench, but with some bird seed in there just so you can get the idea. And the bottom part is actually heavy, so I'm not worried about it falling over. I think this is really cute, and let me know what you guys think. Now, on to DIY number two. I got this cute little planner at the thrift store for only 50 cents, and I took it outside and gave it two coats of my white Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color matte white. And for some reason, I'm in slow motion here, and I'm so sorry for that. I'm going to try to make this video as enjoyable as it possibly can. And so what I did was I took another one of my IOD transfer books, and this one is actually made for, like, pots and plants and things like that. And I think this color is so beautiful. It's a blue color. They have black, blue, and white inside this book it's their crockery stamps uh, but in a transfer and guys i get all of my transfers i get all of my iod products from milton's daughter i'm gonna leave her link down in the description box and just for my viewers she gives you guys 10 percent off all your iod products so you definitely need to buy those from her i've had a lot of people asking me where i buy them from well, it's Milton's daughter. So what I did was I cut out the two that I wanted. And actually on one of them, it was a smaller piece because you don't have to use the whole transfer. You can use like pieces. And this is what the book looks like. It's called Traditional Pots is the name of these transfers. So this first one that I'm going to put on is these beautiful three little angels. And as soon as you place it down, you get it 
stuck and it sticks down just like a sticker basically and a lot of times honestly i like to use my fingernail because it's a really good tool guys i'm telling you you know we really underestimate our fingers <laughs> just telling you and then i cut the sides because it just if it's a a shape like this it makes it easier to get that transfer on or it does for me you use your little tool that they send or your fingernail or whatever you want to scratch it with and you just rub it and you pull up the little film as you're rubbing and it will stick and then when you get that off you burnish it and burnishing simply means you take that little plastic film that it came on and kind of rub it in a circular motion all over that stamp and it basically just makes it stick down better on the second one since it had words at the top i thought it would be a lot simpler just to cut the words off and put them over that top of that little area and then i'm going to put the other piece down on the bottom so I did the exact same thing. I just put my words up there and used my little tool to rub it off. And I did the same thing with the bottom. And on the one that says Le Hardin, where I cut the two little side pieces off, I thought it would be cute to stick them in the middle of my little planter up there at the top and that's exactly what i did and that's what i meant by you can use pieces of their transfers it doesn't have to be the whole transfer you can use like just words off of one or in this case these are just a couple of little roses and you just put them together and it looks like it was made that way it's so beautiful and I'm not sponsored or anything, but I must say that IOD is always a product that I know, I know that I know that I'm going to be happy with. And to me, it's well worth any money spent. Because sometimes you pay for quality, and that's in this case. A lot of people say, well, they're kind of a little pricey sometimes. Yes, it is. But they do last for quite a while, and their products are, they're just always right on spot and then i gave it a quick little sanding over with a 400 um grit sandpaper because i just like that look like i said it makes it look more vintagey <laughs> then i took a very small piece of a popsicle stick that i cut and i'm going to use my starbond glue and the accelerator to glue this to the back right side of my little planter then I simply took that little bird the other bird that I had painted outside and I distressed him a little bit and I placed him with the star bond glue right on the top of that little piece of popsicle stick I did that just so it wouldn't be such a thin line to glue him to so he kind of has like a little stand there Then I just took some Dollar Tree jute and went around the very top of the handle and I took my lighter and burned off all the little fuzzies. Then I took my Waverly ink chalk paint and I gave my little bird a very good dry brushing. And then I kind of went back over him with a little bit of white like I told you before because I got a little heavy handed with the black. And then I used the good old finger and went all the way around the rims of the top of these planters and around the bottom to finish it off. And I hope you guys like this one. This one is probably my favorite of all today's DIYs and it was the easiest. And I styled it with some cute little faux flowers and you know me, I had to make a couple of little clay bird eggs to go inside the other place. And I just kind of painted them with a dark blue color to go with the ink that's on the front of my planters. I really like this one. Did I mention that I would love to have you as part of our family here on YouTube? All you have to do is hit that little red subscribe button and you're in the family and there's a bell beside it and when you hit that, YouTube's going to let you know every time that I put on a video. And if you will, please give me a big thumbs up because it really helps support my channel out here on YouTube. And I promise when I see you, I'm going to give you a big old Tennessee bear hug for it. 
Now let me tell you about my friend Brandy from the DIY Struggle. I love her channel. You guys are going to love her too. She is so funny. But she is putting on this flipping inspiration, it's called, each week in May. And it is going to be Colorful, Distressed, Modern, and Farmhouse. Each week, she will be giving away a $30 gift card from Amazon. And you can get in on this fun every Friday at 7 o'clock in May with Miss Brandy. And she's going to have a different co-host every week. So, guys, what you have to do is answer my DIY question and Brandy's DIY question to get enrolled for the $30 Amazon gift card. And my question is going to be... What is my favorite method of distressing? And it's not a paintbrush. So just put your answer in the comment box below. And good luck. She is going to pick the winners at the end of May. So you have all of May to enter the contest. At the thrift store, I found this cute little antique looking wash bin. I think that's what you call them. It's the stuff where people would wash their faces in back in the old days. But I took a little bit of truffle paint because at first I wanted to distress it with brown. But later I changed my mind. And I just kind of went around any areas that I thought that I would be distressing with the truffle. I purposely do not do a full coat on this. There's no reason for it because my thought was to spray paint over it and then I would be just distressing and the brown would appear underneath. But then later I decided I wanted to distress it with black. So this part really doesn't matter. But then I took it outside and gave it two coats of the Rust-Oleum Matte White spray paint. Here's what everything ended up looking like after I gave it two coats of the Rust-Oleum Two Times White in Ultra Matte. I took a little bit of the Waverly ink, which is their black color, and I'm using my favorite distressing method right here. And I'm just going around where these little beads are. And this is just a Dollar Tree charger. I painted it also. It was gold, and I painted it the white color. And I'm just going around it really quick so it looks kind of like enamel. Then I use my finger and the waverly color ink and i go all around the top of this picture and this picture has the most beautiful accents on it and so i used my finger and i had very very little almost no paint on my finger and i kind of traced over those ornate designs because i didn't want them to be a bright black but i did want them to show up and a paintbrush just would not do the trick because if i used a paintbrush there would be paint strokes everywhere so like i said once again the finger wins as the best method of distressing I just really took my time and I went slow and I used my finger to do the other side. I went a little heavier on the other side because I was just trying to see what I could get here. And then I went down the sides of the handles and all around the bottom because this picture had the most beautiful accents all over it, guys. It was gorgeous. And it's like a mini basin. Do you know what I mean? And the picture, it's not the size of a normal size little wash bin. It's like a mini size. And I just thought it was so cute and different when I saw it at the thrift store. I had to have it. And I'm not going to be selling this one in the booth. And I left this next part in for your enjoyment. <laughs> that ugly face I was making at the camera to make sure it was turned on. But anyways, I used my DAS clay and my IOD molds. And it's my favorite IOD mold, the one that has the birds on it. And I just pop it into the freezer for 15 minutes after I get the mold made. And it's hard enough to pull out. It comes out of that mold just like a beauty. And so here what I'm doing is just using my finger, my favorite method of distressing, by the way, and I'm just going over his little feathers with the black color. I wanted the main color of his body to kind of be white, but have the black distressing so that he would really pop when I put him on that picture. 
Now get ready for more pure enjoyment because it's about to start again when I put this bird on the picture. Look at this. What is up with me? But I was standing up, so I was making sure that you guys could see what I was doing. I'm such a beaut, man. But anyways, I take the top bond glue because it is the best to use, I think, with these IOD molds. And I'm going to slap that little bird right on that picture. And by the way, my bird's tail fell off. But guess what? Whenever you put the two pieces together, you'll never know. And I'm just letting y'all know you will never be disappointed with IOD products or seeing my fat arm in this shot because that's all you can see and I didn't realize that and I'm sorry. So I put his body on the picture and then I put his little tail on the picture right behind his body and then I just take a piece of masking tape and put it all over the little bird and that way he will be held in that position and he will stick that way to my little picture and then here i go again guys i'm trying to get the camera straightened up so i can get a good shot which i pretty much didn't and i also have another mold that says farmhouse on it and it is a prima redesign mold but here I am using my finger to go over the word farmhouse, and it looks like a little ribbon, and I'm just using my finger to color it because it's the best method of distressing. You got it, guys. I'm on a roll today. And that arm, somebody stopped me. So I took that little word, and I put the tight bond glue on the back of it and I just kind of put it toward the top of the picture and another piece of tape and let everything freeze that way and it did freeze beautifully on that picture let me know how you guys think that it turned out Well, if you have stuck with me this long, you definitely deserve a medal for having to watch my big fat arm for a quite a while. And I'm so glad that you did stop in. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, because I want you in my family. And I hope that you had a couple of laughs and had a good time. And I love you guys. I will be seeing y'all soon. And don't forget to go check out Miss Brandy. And don't forget to go down to the description box and get your IOD products with Milton's daughter because you are going to be so happy. I love you guys so much, and I will be seeing y'all soon. And until next time, I'm wishing you love, laughs, and DIYs. Watch this little skit of Loretta when I tell her to stop. Say hi. She's like, what's going on? Retta, quit. She just gave me a look like she was going to kick my booty. I don't know, but I sure do love her. I love you guys, too. Bye.